I decided today would be a good day to go explore the wilderness. You know, I love a good exploration in the woods, nice and relaxing, and all the peace of nature. As I explored the woods, I found, you know, cool sticks, rocks, nicer little rivers, and a bunch of enjoyable trees, smelling the fresh wilderness air. It was great. But the peace was disturbed. I heard something very strange. It was like a howling, like a screaming in the distance, and I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. And as I followed the sound closer and closer, there into an opening through the woods stood a fox, and it was yelling. But it wasn't yelling like, you know, normal fox or coyote noises, not howling, no, it was like words, like it was screaming at me. And it turns out that he had hurt his leg running through the woods. And so I gathered him in, you know, started to wrap him up in some of the first aid kit I had, and he couldn't thank me more. And I said, no worries, no worries, Mr. Mr. Foxy. Don't even stress it. He said, hey man, if there's anything I can ever do to repay you, I owe it to you. And that's when balloons started to come in. And I knew with my fox buddy by my side, we were gonna have to take these things down. With that being said, we're gonna use the fox to take down these balloons. And today it's the screaming fox. This is the, the one of the last in our modded journey of this mod pack we've done a bunch of different crazy ones you know like the hut you can see here the web the rat the elf everything right so the last thing to do would be this screaming fox of course we only have one path as per usual and some very strange upgrades balloons are deeply offended and retreat when they hear this fox something like that now i will show you guys real quick this tower is well not the best <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable my day is moving. So check us out. We get the fox down. It looks cool. It looks sick. It's all happy. Now we're going to send some balloons out. It'll take them down pretty low, but the attack speed? Yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> so we're probably going to have to get some other things in here if we have any chance of taking on these balloons. Upgrade wise, they get pretty expensive, and I don't really know what the max level does, how good it will be but we will need some money. So let's head over to Tree Stump here, where the clearing in the woods was, and take this down. And of course, we go hard. Okay, so <laughs> this will definitely be interesting. Literally, what better than Sada to help us do this early game? <laughs> and uh, a free dirt monkey, why not? Set it strong, thin these waves, and now we can start on our adventure. This guy is $2,000, by the way, right off the gate. So it's, <laughs> it's not, you know, something you can just pop in right away. But the nice thing is, with ultimate cross pathing, we're gonna get a 555 hut here real quick. With, well, none other than the dancing banana monkey, of course. And see what we can do. Because the thing is, with this tower, we're gonna probably place it at just a bunch of different choke points around the map. And honestly, look at this path right here. Yeah, this is the perfect spot to line up a bunch of dogs. And to do that, well, we're gonna need dollars. So boom, and dancing banana monkey. Because think about this, we're going to need to upgrade all of the dogs, first of all, and that's going to be pretty expensive. I mean, no way around that. But here's where things get more expensive. Because we're going to be placing the dogs in all these random points around the map, dude, think about that. The dog's 2,000. You know, if we place like, I don't know, 20 dogs, that's $20,000. And that's not including any upgrades. So we're definitely going to have a very costly armada of dogs this time around, or fox, if you want to call it that as well. Good news though. We're gonna be able to pick up our marketplace here and now the real money fun begins. And the thing is too, like Sada on almost every map, as long as you have a little bit of looping or something, and even on some of the harder ones, can solo without you doing anything until round 28. You got basically 30 rounds to do whatever you want. <laughs> so you definitely can't go wrong with that. Look at this, 28 leads, pop the ability. I mean, it's a piece of cake. And now we just keep scaling on. And let's get another nanny farm. So we'll get pretty much probably two, three, two, threes right here. And then we're going to need to get an alchemist and, and start getting a few things down. And that'll be a good point where we're compounding money pretty fast here. And we're going to get into this late game and get all these foxes to scream, I don't know, very rude things at these balloons <laughs> to get them out of here. Okay, perfect. Next marketplace. There we go. Now, the money's going to be coming in quick, so let's get a fox. I mean, why as well? I don't know what this guy has innately to pop balloons. Like, camo, lead popping power? I don't know. But the AoE is, is pretty crazy. 
Oh, get it. Oh, yeah. There you go. We are also going to need to get an alchemist. Uh, we might as well just do that now here. We might move the position later, but we'll see. Sell the dart monkey. And just get all the standard upgrades, right? And I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure we can just chill with this for a while and just get another farm. We might need to get the stronger stem for the Moab, but we are in a phenomenal spot. And keep in mind, sought ability, by the way, if things get sticky. And spamming a few of these decked out farms, I mean, oh my, oh my, the money's going to be rolling. All right, it's really not a big deal. So what we'll do is I'm going to pop the sought ability right away, just to get damage on the Moab. So we break it, and then Sada can actually just hit these a bit. And I mean, we can survive that. That's not a problem. So we'll continue on with that. We are going to need some more defenses here. So a few simple solutions to that. We're going to grab a spike factory, go bottom path here, because I want to pretty much just keep this set up for now, not get anything too crazy, like extra. And then this way, we'll also have the back of the track, though, completely squared away for any leaks. But our main popping, you know, damage up here can get the job done. So check this out. Yeah, there it is. Nice little 224 on the spike factory. Just what you're looking for. You know what? We're going to get spike balls. Little 324. There we go. Looking set on that. I've been kind of having fun with just spamming these to like 323. Really a lot of money. You get all squared away with this. Well, we can start upgrading to our tier fives. Which, as fun as getting these is, we should probably do that. <laughs> we'll get one more. I mean, come on. You know, I love the juicy money. He's gone. Hey, that's my wallet. No, 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 no. Okay. Now with our last one here at a 323, we're going to start saving up to pretty much deck these out into their five costs. And we're good in the back here to cover up any balloons that leak. And I mean, dude, you cannot go wrong with a spike factory like this in the back at a 324. It's only taken 600 pops. I mean, at this stage in the game, you're like, okay, that's not a lot. And certainly I'd agree, but that's more than we have lives. So it's doing a fantastic job. And then the Screaming Fox is actually almost at a thousand. Not bad. And then of course, I mean, Sada. Sada's racking them in. Oh, look at that. We're already around 60. Larry's coming in and boom, scream on him. <laughs> we'll pop the Sada abilities here, clean up and no problem. I mean, this hero is just silly. It's, if you haven't bought Sada already, I mean, you just got to get on that. Our spikes are kind of dwindling. We're starting to get to the stage in the game where we're probably going to need to get some upgrades and stuff here. We're actually having to use the Sada abilities. So let's get the stronger stim. I mean, that'll be good. And I want to get all these upgraded to 444s if we can accomplish that. Because we have this one 444, this one 444. I mean, we're, we're almost there. Okay, here we go. We've gotten these all 444 now, so we're going to be making money on repeat. Let's go ahead and upgrade our Fox a little bit and see if this thing can actually start doing damage. Okay, we got a ton of money. We'll get abs. We'll get rage. You know, you can't go wrong with that. We'll also be able to pick up the cursing now. Oh, yeah. Check this out. And you know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to get this to a perma spike. We'll set it on smart all the way in the back because it can sometimes like pop these balloons here. The perma spike with super mines or spike mines and then the moab shred that'll be really good and then we're gonna get ready to sell soda here i suppose we might as well get the monkey wall street while we're sitting here and i suppose let's get another one because <laughs> I, I forgot we have the multiple tier 5 upgrades on so that's pretty funny okay and then let's start to get this composition together well we're around 70 we're getting close to the zomg here i want to start getting this so let's get the perma brew that'll be good and we have plenty of spikes back here now, I would imagine. So let's start to get some dogs. We're going to get a doggy up here to pop these balloons. And we can actually fit some of them on the stump that will be useful. That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. And then we'll get like another one right here. We'll get like another one right here. And then we can start building this now. The doggy wall. Let's get a helicopter back here now as well. Upgrade to support Chinook. We obviously don't want steel and pops, right? But we want, we want goodies. And let's move this guy to start brewing everything out. I'm going to sell Sada now. Get rid of Sada, right? Get rid of the dancing bandit monkey. It is up to the foxes now. Oh, I guess look, it's the blast zone. These are all tier one, by the way. I haven't even upgraded them. So that's really good. And we'll just get the, the perma brew love on everybody. Uh, Yeah, okay. So upgrade these real quick. 
and let's start upgrading the foxes. We'll get them all to, I guess, tier four. Dude, even at tier one, the line was actually doing insane damage. And this guy's actually putting in work. The single target damage is crazy. You know, it's when these balloons start rushing in that we have a problem. Because, like, look at this. Wait, is he just knocking it back? Wait, okay, so he's not actually doing damage. I legit thought these were just new lobsters coming in. Okay, it turns out this guy is just doing no damage to this thing. Okay, well... <laughs> but we need more dogs at the beginning. Yeah, we. I think we are slowly killing this thing. Yeah, we definitely... Okay. Well, that was absolutely silly. So it's the knockback. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay. And then we might as well get the brew on the perma spike as well while we're here. And then I want a bunch of dogs at the front. I don't want to run into that same problem. That was, that was annoying. All right, I'd say we have plenty of dogs now. <laughs> Let's make sure these all get perma brewed out. These rounds actually take so long. <laughs> this is hilarious. And then this will be our big, big dog. So let's go ahead and get utterly roasted, I guess, and see what that does. Okay, so we get like a burning track, like you would with like the wizard or something. And he's actually starting to do some damage. I mean, that would deal with Kumpelins very well. So we got the ZMG here, round 80. Two hours later. All right, we just keep knocking it back. <laughs> All right, well, these guys are going to need to get upgraded, and I think that'll solve a problem a lot. Oh, look at that. We did it. And Sada, of course, still ended up being the max for now. But we continue for it. And now we're just going to go through and speedrun all of these to get them upgraded. I'm not going to upgrade them to tier 5, though, even though we have the unlimited T5s. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to upgrade them all to 4. And I should probably upgrade the ones in the front first so we don't keep just knocking back for forever. <laughs> but I'm really, really excited because they have the single target, they have the knockback, right? All this good utility and stuff and good single target damage. But where they're lacking is the AOE damage and the masses of balloons, the clumps. So I don't think that will be a problem, however, with the Armada line here and just all the different choke points we have. It literally makes up for its weakness, so that's really sick. Five hours later. Okay, this is actually taking forever, so I've turned on fast forward. Eight hours later. Okay, so it does seem their knockback with the permabrew and everything is so crazy that, look, the balloons are not even getting past the entrance. Like, these four right here are literally just perma seeing these Moabs. Like, what? <laughs> So we actually really have to speed this up. 24 hours later. Dude, look at this. We're still on round 85 and we're at like, what, 10, 15 speed? Yeah, we're on 25 X speed and we are still on round 85. You get the idea. What? I don't even know if I need to upgrade any of these back ones. Okay, I'm going to sell this one then. And I'm going to make one of these front ones, like this one, our tier five. Because we're still on round 85. There we go. We finally beat it. I think... Okay, now we're cruising for the rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So having this one, the T5, as our max in the front is going to be crucial. Because otherwise, they just don't have enough damage at T4. And they're literally just permanently seeing it and nothing happens. <laughs> we just sit here at round one of the rounds for 10 years. Okay, there we go. We now have all of these upgraded to Tier 4. And then we have our expert Tier 5 in the front. And honestly, let's get an engineer with the Ultra Boost. Set that to the Tier 5 in the front here. And now here we go. Clump balloons get by around 95. I imagine they'll probably get pretty far. And we are fully decked out here. We got this guy. We might as well get a hut as well. Actually, don't even know if these have camo detect. But there we go. This guy is decked out. Look at this. We're getting the ultra boost cooking. We got a mib, jungle drums, the brew, everything. But let's cruise through here. We're at 91. Yeah, that was the big change. Making this tier five up at the front here. We're at 200k pops. Okay, here we go. 95. Do any of these balloons get by? and go into the rest of our, you know, foxes? Or do we just, like, win out and we never see anything? They're getting kind of far, but certainly no problem for the rest of our dogs. Like, what? Okay, here we go. It's time for round 100, and we have not seen any balloons come out of here. Let's keep in mind the bad cannot be CZ'd. Does this thing have the damage to actually just kill this thing? I, I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. Yeah, so the bad's going to get very far, because obviously we can't perma cc this thing so the actual damage not a lot so it's past our tier five now we're gonna genuinely have to see does our dog armada have what it takes and so far we are not putting a dent in this thing <laughs> okay now it's coming on to dog lane <laughs> oh my goodness this seems taking no damage oh the game crashed well <laughs> i guess there's your answer we beat the bad <laughs> Who knows if the foxes truly did it or not? I guess I'll let you be the judge of that. 
Remember to subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video, and click the video on the left if you want to see how we took the modding elf for a Christmas miracle. It's like a magical wizard, it's crazy. Or click the place on the right if you want to see some of my handpicked favorite videos by me for you. Until next time, guys, I'm Nerves. Peace out.